Music is a big part of our lives, and if you're watching this, video games are probably a big part of your life too. Games and music have gone hand in hand for a long time. But what if the physical layout of sheet music determined the game's level design? What if the music, the notes that played, determined how you played? Hi everyone, I'm Matthew Toronto. And I'm Michael Toronto. And together, together we, we are, are Bitfinity! Bitfinity! It took 87 takes, but it was totally worth it. Yeah, that was good. So, uh, those that might know me know that I do the webcomic Brawl in the Family, which is a uh, video game parody comic. I've also composed and recorded several musical comics uh, over the past five years. So I'm hoping that it's become clear to readers that my passions are in music, art, and video games. Tadpole Treble is the game that we've been working on that combines all three of these things into a trifecta of awesomeness. Well, and guys, my name's Michael Toronto, and I am lead engineer here at Bethinity. And I wanted to say that as kids growing up, we used to play and imagine new worlds. And today, we've created a world that we would like to share with you. In this game, you play as Baton, a tadpole just trying to get back home. As she swims forward, the stage music itself is fighting against her, so it's up to you to get her through safely. The controls are very simple. You move up, you move down, and you can smack your tail with the space bar. Not only are you dodging notes, but you're also hitting bamboo and cymbals on the beat for extra points. This is Turtle Pipes, one of several boss stages in the game. Um, as you can see, this turtle is plodding after Baton, so uh, it looks like he's not up to- OH WATCH OUT! <laughs> Since the spring of this year, we've been working at the Level Up Labs incubation program for indie game developers at the Louisiana Technology Park. Under the guidance of Dane Cairo, an industry vet and programmer, we've been able to polish our concept for Tadpole Trouble. The labs provide great resources for game development, including computers, Cintiq drawing tablets, a motion control studio, and multimedia equipment. Last year, we released an early Tadpole Treble demo to the public. We listened to your critiques and comments, and have spent the past year rebuilding the game and the engine from scratch. It's smoother, sleeker, and most importantly, more fun, with revamped animation and controls. The gameplay is now more intuitively linked with the music than ever. We are constantly updating our research database on tadpoles. Some good, some bad. Hmm. But we are really enjoying our time here at the tech park. Tadpole Treble's art style is uh, sort of a composite of a bunch of different things that I was a fan of growing up uh, regarding animation. I really want this game to have a nice smooth feel to it. Um, so we have minimal outlines, nice soft colors, and uh, most importantly frame by frame animation where every, every frame is hand drawn. I'm using a lot of squash and stretch, a lot of mm. exaggeration for uh, the tween movement so we can see some nice fluid movement in, uh, when you're controlling baton, which I think is important for a game of this type. We got to uh, demo Tadpole Treble today, and it was pretty amazing. It was great. Like, boss battle music game? What? <laughs> the music in this game is not a second-class citizen. The music is the game. And they have a passion for music and games that I haven't seen before. And just the combination of the game with the music, it's going to work seamlessly together. I first met Matthew and Michael in a pitch meeting uh, for Tadpole Trouble. And they li literally broke into song multiple times in this pitch meeting. I'd never seen that before. I was just like, man, we need to figure out a way to work with these guys. Because um, you know, they ca care so much about what they're doing. But the sheet music was, was actually the level design, kind of hand-drawn. Like every rock was a note, every blade of grass was there. After about three months of development, we tried several things to enhance the user experience. Uh, we came up with several concepts for boss ideas and we got to integrate one of them trying to come up with new and fun ways to bring in a musician composition with uh, gameplay elements. Uh, I think this is what's going to really separate the game from the other games out there is by offering multiple type of play styles for both the casual user and the more experienced user. To proceed with our dream though, we'll need your support. Making a top-notch polished game is an expensive endeavor. 
And even though we're doing the art, music, and level design ourselves, your pledges will help us cover the cost of hiring a programmer full-time, as well as other fees. Backers of this Kickstarter are privy to all sorts of splendid rewards. For instance, the full digital soundtrack, which can be yours for just a few, count them, few dollars. There's a travel guide, which is chock full of art and locations and stuff about the game. There's an adorable mini plush look at a cute little batons, you school cute. And finally, of course, the game itself. Yours for only $7. And I mean, that's like the price of this fast food meal. And Tadpole Trouble's much better for you. They've brought an amazing passion to the game. You know, they care, care so much about what they're doing. I was really excited to get the opportunity to work with them. Great game. You should definitely fund this game. Fun Tadpole Treble is going to be awesome. Yeah. Well, everyone, uh, thanks for checking out our video. And thank you for being part of our game. Yes. Thank you very much. Now let's help this Tadpole get home. Oh.